Thank you for joining us in part three of our series on VAR modeling. Today we are looking at general to specific approach. If after estimating your VAR model and you observe that some of your coefficients or most of your coefficients are not significant, what can you do? For consistency, I have returned to the screen the example we have been working with. We have a VAR model with three variables and the number of lags that we use for each of the variables on the right hand side, that is their lags, k equals 2. That is the lag length. And after estimation, we came about 21 coefficients. 18 slope coefficients and 3 for the intercepts. And upon examination, we saw that 8 out of the slope coefficients are not significant, representing 44.4%. So once you have a situation like this, whereby most of your coefficients are not significant, what can be done? The non-significance of some coefficients may be due to having too many lags, leading to multicollinearity of the right-hand side variables. So if that's the case, what is the remedy? There is a need to modify the over-parameterized model to a parsimonious model. How can that be done? There is a need to test for coefficient diagnostics using the world test. Basically, what the world test will do is to test whether the coefficients are equal to zero or not. That is a null hypothesis. And if the null hypothesis cannot be rejected, then there is a need to expunge these variables from the model. It means that the variables cannot explain the dependent variable, after which the parsimonious model cannot be reestimated and the results interpreted. So we are now going on to e-views to take on an example. I'm working with the log of PCE, PDI, and GDP, I've opened them up. So we go to quick, click on estimate var. The standard var button is already indicated, so I'm not going to change that. In the endogenous variables section, I'll just simply type in all the variables. I'm not changing number of lag lengths. I'll still leave it at two. The screen is the results. And as we observed the last time, we don't have the p-values. So we cannot say precisely the statistical relevance of the t-statistics because it is the p-value that gives relevance to the t-statistics. So to obtain the probability values, we simply go to PROC, click on Make System, and select Order by Variable. From here, eViews has outlined each of the equations for the three variables, and we click Estimate. In the System Estimation dialog box, nothing is changed. Simply click OK. And there you have all the respective p-values for the t-statistics. So here, you can know whether a t-statistic is uh, significant or not. From the total of the slope coefficients that we have here, eight of them are not significant, as you can see here. C3 is not significant. C4 is not significant. C6 is not significant. We look at uh, C11, C13, C16, C17, and C18. All these eight coefficients are not significant. So before we can just remove them arbitrarily from the model, we need to test for their redundancy or their significance using the world test. So we maneuver to view. We click on coefficient diagnostics and we select world coefficient test. Your system on, just practice as I'm doing mine. So I have stated there the null hypothesis that all these coefficients are equal to zero. Next thing I do is to click OK. So here's the results of the world test. You can see world test up here. So the pro value is our main interest is 0 0.4173. So clearly it's above 0 0.05 and we cannot reject the null hypothesis. So these eight coefficients are zero. They have no influence on the dependent variable. The next thing is to remove the variables from the model. So to do that, we go to spec. And from here, we remove all the variables. So let's start with C3, C4. I'm removing them now. This is C3 going out on C4. They are out. Next, I'm removing C6 from the model. So those ones are out from the 
log of PC equation. In the log of PDI, I have C11 and C13. So I'm removing C11. Be careful so that you don't remove a different variable. So those ones are out in the equation for the log of PDI. And for the log of GDP, I'm removing C16, C17, and C20. They have no relevance being in those um, equations. So after I've removed all those variables that are redundant according to the result from the word test, I click on estimates. Before I estimate, this is now the parsimonious model. Remember, we are moving from the general approach, which is the over-parameterized model, to the specific. So this is now the parsimonious model. So let us run this to see whether our variables will not, whether our coefficients will not be significant, at least to, to, to a good extent or not. So again, this is the parsimonious model. So click on estimates, click OK. So you can see, this is a lot better than what we had before. Almost all the coefficients are statistically significant, except to now, C2 and C9. It could be because we removed some coefficients and that affected the significance of this. But given that, we are now going to test for the redundancy of these two coefficients in the model. So again, we go to view and we list C2 equals C9 equals zero. Testing whether we need to leave them in the model or to remove the variables. Because they are the only two coefficients left now that are not significant. So we click OK. So here we can see the results of the world test. The probability value for the F statistics here is 0 0.636. So clearly C2 and C9 should not be in this model. These two coefficients are zero. So we are removing them from the model. So we go to spec again and we take out C2 which is in the equation for log of PCE and we take out C9. C9 is in the equation for the log of PDI. So again, this is the parsimonious model. Let's click on estimate to see what we have. So here's the result. This is a lot better. All the coefficients are statistically significant at 1%. Only this one is at 5%. So the rest are statistically significant at the 1% level. So you can make a lot of inferences and assertions from this result than from what you had before. There is no point you are running a research and all your variable and all your coefficients are not significant. You can't say much about coefficients that are not significant. You can't even discuss them. Once they are not significant, you can't talk about them. But this one is a much better result. You can say a lot about this particular um, model. And also, let's look at the W Watson to see whether our model is going to suffer from serial correlation. In the first equation, the W Watson is 2.13, so that is good. In the second equation, the W Watson is 1.93, is also good. And in the third equation, the W Watson is also 1.99. That is approximately two. So in the three, among the three equations, none of them is suffering from serial correlation. So this model is good. And remember, this is a log-log formation. So all your interpretations should be in elasticity form. And um, it's a Sagittarius paribus argument if you want to do your interpretation. So in a nutshell, this is how you can maneuver from an over-parameterized model to a parsimonious model once you observe that most of your coefficients are not significant. Go to world, conduct a world test to test for redundancy of variables or to test for significance of coefficients in the model. Once you cannot reject the null hypothesis, it means that those variables have no business being in the model. Simply remove them and you have a better result. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you for stopping by. Log on to our website and our blog. Leave us your likes and your comments and stay tuned for more tutorials.